In this short video, you learn how to enroll yourself for a course on the Roehampton external Moodle site. You'll do so in two easy steps. First of all, you'll register yourself as a user so that you can log in, and then you can enroll yourself for a course very easily. First, we need to go to the website. Type into the address bar of your browser external.moodle.rohampton.ac.uk and enter. That will take you to the website. Once you're on the website, you'll notice that you can't actually enroll yourself for any of these courses if you haven't logged in yet. So first you must create a username and a password so that you can log into the site and after that you can click on the course of your choice and you'll be able to enroll automatically by clicking a button. So the first thing we need to do is to create a username. Right underneath the login fields you'll notice a link that says create new account. This is the link you need to click on in order to create an account so that you can log in. Click on create new account. This will take you to a form which will allow you to create a user account. You have to enter a username. Choose something you can remember very easily. If the system tells you that the username already exists, use the username you wanted to use initially, but add a number after it. So for example, if you wanted to register as Peter, but Peter has already been taken, choose Peter1 or Peter2. We're going to watch as someone called Lola Smith chooses a username, a password, and fills in her details on the system. Lola now has to choose a password, and as you can see, the password has to be at least six characters long, and one of these has to be a digit, so it has to be a number. Right, now she has to fill in her email address. When she's completed the entire form, she can click on the button that says, Create my new account. Now Lola gets to a screen which tells her to check her email and in her email she will receive a link. She has to click on the link in order to show the system that she is in fact the real Lola Smith and that the email account belongs to her. Now let's look at the email Lola receives. The email greets her and then says to confirm your new account please go to the web address. She clicks on the link and this takes her in her browser to a little note that says Thanks Lola Smith, your registration has been confirmed. She clicks on the link and this takes her to the website where she will already be logged in. So she can just click on courses and she will see the courses on the website and she can choose one. I want to show you however what would happen if Lola didn't just click on that button but had to go to the website and log in from the start. So we go to the same website and this time we have to log in and you use the username and the password that you've just created. So Lola types in her username and password, clicks on login and is then taken to the actual site. As you can see she is now logged in as Lola Smith and she can select the course that she wants to enroll for. In this case we're choosing Historical Inquiry at Roehampton. She cannot enter the course yet, she has to be enrolled, therefore she clicks on the Enroll Me button. When she does that, it takes her into the course and she's enrolled and she's now a student on the course. Perfect. I just quickly want to show you what happens when Lola logs in next time. When she logs in next time, she can click on this button called My Courses. Once she does that, it shows her the courses she's enrolled for and she can select them from the course overview panel. And there she is logged into the course that she enrolled herself for. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy your University of Roehampton external Moodle courses.